I'm very impressed with the work habits. The Coach Stein over the years have obviously developed, developed some great work ethic, work ethic with these guys. Um, I'm impressed with uh, their punctuality, uh, with their effort, their character thus far. We're, we're, you know, we're attempting to to change some perceptions here. I won't say actually change the character, but change the perception of the character here. And uh, you know, we have some great examples at camp. We went to FCA camp in Charlotte. Two, two different times, uh, $20 bills were found in, in our dorm, and they were turned in. I mean, just, just you know, stuff that makes your heart swell up as a, as a daddy and uh, as a coach, too. But uh, with that said, uh, they're coming together. We've currently got 41 on the varsity, so to speak, and 53 on the JV. Uh, high numbers, some things I'm not used to working with. And the coaches have done an awesome job thus far with meeting the players, getting to know their own uh, individual uh, players, and then uh, making some great suggestions for our, our development and our improvement as a, as a team. And just helping me in all around with all these new things, as you can imagine, coming over and wanting to change uh, some things and, and trying to rework some things. But they just been awesome staff. Uh, just I, I'm looking forward to the whole season. I totally, just from a perspective of, of camaraderie with the coaches and, and getting along and working together with these guys. In terms of players coming on board, probably the biggest um, was Isaiah Hicklin. Talk about his coming on here and really assimilating into the club and, and picking up you know your habits and, and the practice schemes here as opposed to what he was doing over at Porter Ridge. Well, unfortunately for the other 40, and uh, or 41 and Isaiah, you know, I'm the third coach for everybody in three years or less, and you know that's extremely hard to do to to, to learn uh, somebody's personality and, and demeanor and that short of time. Uh, we've had some hiccups. I mean, obviously, with any change like that, not only with Isaiah but with everybody, we've had some hiccups. I won't lie to you, uh, but, but he wants to please. He wants to be uh, successful here. Isaiah is confident and, and bring some good skills with his own the zone read that we're going to do with Albert and, and a little uh, you know with PJ coming through with his speed and, and uh, just some, some good, good good things that are taking place uh, coach black you know, college football quarterback at Gardner Webb uh, working with our quarterbacks and uh, coach Sherrod played white forest low line we're trying to go back to the zone read and, and get some gap blocking going and uh, just trying to make it easier so the guys don't have to think but just react but Isaiah has uh, is, is got a lot of leadership capabilities. And, you know, of course, we're behind the eight ball. We're trying to find him a place to play next year. He's got a lot of good uh, God-given talent. We just want to try to direct that in, at, the, at the right uh, institution at the next level for him to participate in. Well, Coach, you, you lost a, a bunch of seniors off your lines, but, you know, you take a look at these kids in here, and they're pretty big. I don't know what you're feeding them, but they're pretty big kids. Uh, talk about that, your lines right now, your offense and defense. Well, the only returner is Corey Keels at center, uh, he's, and he's a, he's a load himself. He moves pretty well. Uh, the two big bookend tackles you're referring to, Michael Head and uh, Austin Matthews, you know, they're, they're huge. You, have, you guys are going to kick off the season for the state against Huff. You know, last year Sun Valley and Christian really suffered in the heat. Doing anything different preparing these kids for that game or is it too early at this point? Uh, we're actually are taking some strides, not just because you know, everybody came down and said, hey, we fell out like, you know, like flies uh, on fly, fly paper last year. But no, we're, we're trying to condition a little bit each day. You know, you saw the day, uh, and, and not just dead sprinting, but you know, mixing it up a little bit with some dynamic stretch while we're sprinting. Just like everybody else trying to get them acclimated to it, we switched to afternoon practices in hopes that that would kind of get them a little, a little more ready for the heat. Uh, just trying to emphasize watching what they take in their bodies, maybe more so than in the past, uh, the, the food intake, the carb intake, the drink, especially uh, laying off carbonated drinks, sweet drinks with uh, sugar in it. Just trying to go with water right now and uh, even cutting down on Gatorade you know, with all the sugar that's in there. What's your expectations for this this group of players um, as you head into the season, through the season? What are you really expecting out of them? What would satisfy you? Success has been a very big goal of mine. The first half of my career and this second half of my career, I want to be significant to these guys. I want them to, uh, you know, as men, to be able to love people and say it and not be ashamed of it. I want them to have emotions. 
I want them to have a lot of character and a lot of class. And I know I'm saying everything about everything but football, but I think football will take care of itself. If they line up their, their morals and values uh, and they are genuinely concerned about improving, I think football will take care of itself. And that's, I want to see them get confidence in themselves and, and grow and, and come together as a team. But with that said, you know, we're going we're gonna to try to put the best product out there that we can and get our guys in a position to be successful. That's our job, get them to a position to be successful in the field.